proof is in doing it. PowerPoint is nothing, the reality is the truth. The motto of the Barracuda team is the proof is in doing it. However crazy the dream is, it can become true. Don't wait till all issues are solved. Start working. And I must say, we have achieved a lot more than I had ever expected. And there were many people out there in the company that said, you will never succeed if that doesn't work. Well, I was convinced that that is the right thing to do. We as a company needed a project and a project in the unmanned uh, world was something which, uh, which was absolutely necessary in order to position ourselves in Europe and in the world. Barracuda, the 20th anniversary. It was a little bit of a uh, secret. So not too many disturbances from outside. It was such an efficient and trustful team and uh, the same counts for the management. Everyone from the team had somebody in his back, very experienced, but also similarly enthusiastic. And I think his major trick was really to say, this is a black project. For giving us a bubble where we really can live and breathe. The big point was, of course, you wanted to have uh, young, enthusiastic people moving that forward, also the future of the company, um, because we wanted them also to have the experience uh, to have a project like that, uh, to go from A to Z with an aircraft development. My biggest contribution probably was to make uh, that the Spanish and the German teams, they really work as a team. And then I took them together like a football team. We were all standing like this in, in a circle and I told them, whatever happens today, we will write aerospace history. You will write aerospace history. That was for me one of the most emotional moments in my entire professional life. It does fly, it's coming back, no problems. So that was really a very nice day. Then we, we, we left the hangar and uh, we went to our uh, rental car. We had a big Renault Espace or something. And we were all inside, it, I think it was a group of, of seven or eight people. We switched on the radio and then there was a, We Will Rock You from Queen. No one was talking a word and we were driving out to the range and it was a magic moment. If they are not in the same, you know, boat, you can do nothing, nothing. It's impossible. You can pretend to do. And here, everyone was in the same boat. So it was not only the first flight which was remarkable, but carrying that then forward with uh, new flight test campaigns and always new technologies. And that kept not only the spirit in the company alive, but uh, also the interest of the customer, which at the end of the day then resulted in our role in FCAS and our role in the Eurodrone or Euromail. The new about Barracuna was the part of the automation and what we called the level of autonomy. And it was at that point of time um, with three and a half tons, uh, the largest uh, UAV ever built and flown in Europe. As it was uh, considered as a demonstrator, it doesn't need to be certified. That made it possible for us to uh, walk beside the usual way of the processes. If you don't have a pilot anymore, you don't have a fallback position. Uh, so if something goes wrong, then uh, there's nothing in there. So in fact, and that is new to Barracuda, you have to add something to the system, which we call, it has to be robust. We had, for example, one, one case when the data link was lost um, and we were fearing that something could happen, the uh, Barracuda flew back very safely. Well, we proved that it was possible to create the, at that time, biggest UAV aircraft within Europe, within, uh, from, the, from the first sketches in, in 3D CAT to the first flight in about 40 months, which is quite impressive. The ground segment was entirely built by Spain. And in fact, that was one of the seeds of the future one control for other developments in Airbus as the one we're doing today in Eurodrone. 
Um, first of all, it brought the credibility to EADS and Cassidian and later Airbus that we can do things like this. We had to basically the obligation towards our customer to show them that we are still able, we are still an aircraft company, we can build a whole aircraft. When, when the project ended, we had already the first ideas on uh, made unmanned teaming um, to use two Barracudas together with Tornado aircraft. So the Barracuda directly evolved into two streams. One is for the iStar male UAVs, which is in the end the Eurodrone. And the other stream is directly going into remote carrier and manned unmanned teaming, and that's such an example. So we kind of built a legacy. We are leading Eurodrone and we are leading the remote carrier in FCAS. Without Barracuda, this won't be possible. So it's not just the technology itself to make aircraft fly automatically, but what is also in use and which is even more important to me is a spirit if you want to get things done, and that is important. And we are still living and breathing of what we have learned 20 years ago. So the progress of technology respect to the network-centering environment. I mean, yeah, Barracuda did prove that it's actually possible to make a combination. You have one flight here, one flight here, they exchange data, they do reconnaissance, another one is probably dropping a bomb. Manned unmanned teaming is improving the overall mission efficiency in many ways. You can increase the so-called combat mass. Last but not least, it, it helps to keep the air crew out of dangerous situations. Let the unmanned vehicles do the dangerous jobs. I mean, if you look to the today's design of wingmans, you will see that they are more or less all about the Barracuda design. My own experience with regards to European cooperation is, is great. So in the end, from my perspective, there, everybody brings something very valuable to the table and we always found our way to cooperate. Yeah, basically it's the next big thing, the next big European uh, projects where we're making the next generation of, of fighters and everything that's coming with them. In this combat cloud, UAVs, bigger ones and smaller ones, all being connected. I mean, Ukraine shows that uh, small UAVs really can make a difference. System of systems means that we have a reached a complexity in aeronautics and in military aviation where the aircraft or the drone is, is not longer the highest level. The connection of all the assets, of all the systems to a higher level, to a kind of shared intelligence and, and shared reconnaissance and collecting data this is the next level. This was very difficult for us to understand that not the aircraft is the end. The aircraft is just an asset. The Barracuda was already from the beginning about European sovereignty and that we really have our own technologies developed, that we can also stand the market. The magic of Barracuda at that time was we pushed a technological frontier. From that workshare company, the making piecemeal of an, of an aircraft, just a workshare, we suddenly had a program where the entire company said, yes, we can do that. Um, and we have the system engineering teams and experience again in place that we can build aircraft. But also in conjunction with the customer who recognized, yes, we can trust them, they can build UAVs uh, and they can build aircraft. And with regard to that, I think, um, that helped the company moving forward a lot. I was telling one of my daughters this morning, I had a great time because I met my friends, the people that did unbelievable things together with myself. And I'm proud of being part of that. The most impressive thing on, on this journey for me was what is possible to achieve when you have the right people around. The motto of Barracuda is the proof is in doing it. But the motto of Airbus is we are one, and we are one in Barracuda.